silent about this information for a while. Why? What in Starkland do you mean? I gave you the autopsy of the body, didn't I? You failed to mention this detail to me during my investigation. We've been arguing back and forth for what felt like moons, and you now just speak up about what actually killed Ashford? What are you doing? I'm doing exactly what you're doing, Brambleclaw. I'm exposing the truth. The truth being that you, Jay Feather, could have killed Ashfur. Are you dense? How could I, the blind medicine cat, be capable of poisoning Ashfur? Do you realize what you're accusing me of? Suddenly, now that we're not kin, all bets are off, aren't they? You said it yourself. It has to be a cat who knew about the deadly herbs to kill Ashfur. Comparing you to Leafpool at the moment, you've got the proper motive. Leafpool didn't know about what happened at the fire. Why would she suddenly have something against Ashfur? Brackenfer mentioned that Hollyleaf couldn't have a clear mind to carry this out. But you... You've taken this issue the calmest! You could have easily- What in Starkland do you think you're doing? are you serious? This is your- Was. This was a cat you considered your own flesh and blood not too long ago. How could you accuse him like this? Leafpool. You didn't know about Ashra's intentions. Here, I'll ask you this. Who else could have poisoned Ashfur? 
Are you trying to say it was you? It was neither of us. I don't know who could have killed Ashford with poison. It may have been an accident. Regardless of what you think or do, I will defend my kids to my last breath. What you failed to realize, Brambleclaw, is the exact poison that was used. Say for example, it was a fast-acting poison. Jayfeather would have needed to be at the scene of the crime. He was with me in my den all night. Are you trying to say he wasn't? What if Jayfeather used a slower poison? He could have snuck it in his food before Ashford left camp. Brackenford even said Ashford was starting to look sick as he left. Jayfeather has access to the herb stores and knows exactly what can harm and what can heal. Jayfeather didn't have access to the herbs. I slept in front of the herb store that night. I organized them just before we called it a night. He would have had to get past me first. Maybe this theory of poison isn't right at all. Jay Feather didn't have access to the herbs. I slept in front of the herb store that night. I organized them just before we called it a night. That can't be right! If you were organizing the herbs all night like you said, Leafpool, why did you say this when we investigated the medicine den the day after? After I left the lake, I came directly back to camp. I wanted to check up on the kids first and make sure Ferncloud wasn't going through shock. She's... she's been through a lot the past few days. I wanted to bring an example mixture out to show Brightheart when she gets back, but... Why are you so nervous? What's going on, Leafpool? When I came back, my entire herb store was ruined. I couldn't believe it. I... I know I organized it a few days ago, but now it looks like a pack of badgers came through here. Normally this occurs over time, I should know. I have a blind apprentice. But nothing this bad has ever happened before! You were just as shocked as I was to see your herb store in disarray. You even went out of your way to mention you organized those herbs many days ago. So, which is it, Leafpool? I... well... that... that still doesn't mean- Face it, Leafpool. Even a cat like Jayfeather could commit this murder. That's something we all need to realize. I'm done with your secrets and lies. StarClan brought us here to discuss the murder of Ashfur. Everyone here is a suspect until proven otherwise. Brambleclaw, what's gotten into you? This... this isn't like you! Earlier today, you wanted to protect everyone! That was before I realized I was worth less than a piece of fresh kill to you. So, who, who did it? Only for Jayfeather. Leafpool. After I left and you reorganized your herbs, were any poisonous herbs missing? No. No poisonous herbs were missing. It... it couldn't have been- I call Fox Dung on that. She lied before. This could just be another lie to protect Jayfeather. Unlike you, Fur for Brains, I don't NEED protecting! I, for one, believe my littermate. If she says Jayfeather couldn't have taken any poisonous herbs from the store, then he didn't kill Ashfur. Does that mean you believe Hollyleaf killed him? Squirrelflight, you need to make a choice.
if the cause of death was poison, who other than Jay Feather could have the correct motive and access? It has to be Jay Feather. But Hollyleaf admitted to meeting Ash for herself. She went out of her way to hide it, didn't she? In her state of anger towards Ashfur, she could have easily taken advantage of the situation. Maybe we got the cause of death wrong, or the way he died. Maybe it was an accident. We've gone too far in this trail to fall back on saying this murder was an accident. There was clear intent in both of these cats. I will believe the cause of death. Jayfeather knows best when it comes to herbs. You've all seen him work when warriors go to the medicine den. I'm sorry, Jayfeather. Hollyleaf. Why? Why did you meet with Ash for that night? What did you think would come out of that? Did you think you could convince him? You've already met with him once. Did you... really? Flying Blaze, don't be a mouse brain. We've already concluded that it couldn't be her. She... she wouldn't. Hollyleaf stands by the warrior code more than anything. And Hollyleaf wasn't in the right state of mind. How could she fight Ashfur like that? It wasn't Hollyleaf, so it... So it had to have been... Ashfur was a strong warrior. He wouldn't die easily. He could have been weakened. Hollyleaf noticed this and found her chance to shut him up for good. Oh, enough! All of you! I didn't kill Ashfur! It wasn't me! You're all sick in the head if you think I would do something like that. Have you ever known me to be that cruel? I didn't kill Ashfur. We're just... we're just out of options. And looks as if their opinions are split, Firestar. Right down the middle. As much as I'd prefer to see a fight break out, StarClan certainly wouldn't be pleased. You need to decide this now. StarClan will not tolerate this. Hollyleaf met with Ashford that night. Hollyleaf! I met with him, yes, but I didn't kill him. Hollyleaf is the only one capable of killing Ashford. Brightheart! Jayfeather is just as capable if you count the use of herbs. Ashford was a strong warrior. A little poison couldn't kill him. Cinderheart! There are deathly poisons that can kill even the strongest of warriors. Jayfeather knew this. What if the poison weakened Ashfur instead? The killing blow could have been easy! Ferncloud! Have you forgotten that the cut on his throat wasn't a killing blow? You saw how Hollyleaf acted with this secret. She was blind with rage! Brackenfur! She was blind with grief. Why kill Asher for a secret that she revealed anyway? My, my kid wouldn't use any strong poisonous herbs without my knowledge. Cloudtail! All he needed to do was mess up the herbs in your store long enough for you to not realize what went missing. Lee Pool said no poisonous herbs were missing from her store after they were messed up! I got this! But that's Lee Pool's lie, isn't it? What if this was an accident? No one would have meant to kill Ashfur. No one deserved to die. I got this. I'm sorry, Sandstorm, but an accident is out of the question at this point. This is our answer. I'm sorry, Jay Feather. But if the poison was indeed the cause of death, like we concluded, then. It had to have been you! I. I. I can't do this anymore. It's. it's okay, Brambleclaw. I. I did it. Jayfeather, you, you, you don't- Let me speak, Hollyleaf. Your, 
You're right, Brambleclaw. We were running out of time, and I couldn't take it anymore. I had to do something. Ashford was going to reveal our secret to all four clans the next day. Our lives, Thunder Clan's lives, would have been ruined. What was I supposed to do? I. I had to save them! Gee, Feather. No, you don't understand! You will never understand! We've just had our entire life turned around and questioned. We... We are ruined. This was all I could do to save us. That night, I... I was in a panic. A Ashford refused to listen to either of us. I had to do something. Anything to quiet Ashfur. Even if that meant killing him. So, I messed up Leafpool's herb store so she wouldn't notice any herb that was missing. At least for a while. And no one pays attention to the blind medicine cat as they walk up to the fresh kill pile. I'm either taking one for myself or Leafpool or inspecting for maggots or rotten prey. That... that night, I quickly stuffed a piece of fresh kill with the herb. How could you be certain that Ashfur took that piece? <laughs> I didn't have to. Just as I finished, I heard Ashfur walking up to the pile. In that arrogant tone, he wanted one last victory over me and my siblings before he revealed this secret. So he asked me to hand him a piece of fresh kill that was good after my inspection. And he ate the poison piece of fresh kill. That's why he looked so sick as he left the camp to meet with Hollyleaf. Jayfeather, that can't be true. You know that. Why, Jayfeather? You... you really... Please, please don't let this be true. You, you couldn't have. You all act like I had a choice in this. I didn't choose to be born. I didn't choose to be half clan. I didn't choose to be blind. I, I didn't choose to quiet Ashford for good. I, I had to. A sacrifice. Isn't that what being a warrior is about? For the good of the clan, right? My job as a medicine cat is to protect and save my clanmates with my herbs from injuries and diseases. This was a disease that needed to be eradicated. No, you can't be- It was me! I killed Ashfur. I made him regret what he'd done to his last breath. You're wrong! You didn't kill Ashfur! Stop trying to take the blame! You're just protecting no. me! No! I did it. This is... this is it, isn't it? This is what you all wanted to hear. This is what Star Clan wanted to hear. Are you happy now? Just what do you have in store for me, for, for Ashfur's murderer? Why was Ashfur so important to you all, anyways? You had to have known what he was going to do to the Thunder Clan. 
He doesn't belong with you in Star Clan. <laughs> loyalty. This test of yours about loyalty means so much as a mouse tail. I killed Ashfur, and I did it for the good of the clan. To see my clanmates live happily before he's destroyed everything we do. Is that not loyalty? It had to have been Jay Feather. There's no other choice. How how could you? You lied to all of us. You fox-hearted. Did you enjoy stringing us along like this? I... I can't believe this. Well, I can. The motive fits for the actions he took. You all stop this right now. It couldn't have been Jay Feather. I won't stand for this anymore. Watching ThunderClan distrust one another and accuse each other... It's ripped me apart more than you can ever realize. Sandstorm, it's... It's okay. This is too simple! To say Jayfeather murdered Ashfur by poisoning his prey? Why would he bring up the cause of death if he knew it'd bring himself to his own downfall? Sandstorm, remember what StarClan said. We all need to vote on the correct murderer of Ashfur. If we don't all agree, they'll cut contact forever. You need to understand he just confessed. It's blatant. I don't want to believe this either. He's helped me and so many others so much. But these are StarClan's rules for this trial. Let's... let's start the voting. Sandstorm's right. Why is Jayfeather giving up so easily? Jayfeather was the one who brought up the cause of death originally. Why would he do that? Because he knew that as soon as the topic of Ashford's real death came out, we'd think it was a medicine cat's doing. Did he plan this? Is he protecting someone like Sandstorm said? Who could he be protecting? Does he already know who the real murderer is? And he planned on sacrificing himself to save them? How long has he known? Wait! Before we convict Jayfeather as the murderer, I want to look back at all this one more time. There might be something we're missing. Huh? Brambleclaw? I, I thought... You were so adamant that Jayfeather was the culprit. I know what I said. Just, let's debate one more time. Maybe there's an extra piece we're missing to confirm. Brambleclaw, what, what are you doing? If you say so, Brambleclaw, you won't be changing my mind in a hurry. Okay, let's go over how the victim died one last time. We've discussed this already. Ashford died because he was poisoned by Jayfeather. He confessed. He didn't drown. Nor did he die by the claw scratch on his throat. The claw scratch wasn't deep enough to do any real damage. He had to be poisoned. The only one who had access to deadly herbs was Jayfeather. He messed up Leafpool's store to confuse her. He found the correct herb. And killed Ashfur. I told you all this before. No poisonous herbs left my store after I reorganized. We have no other leads to go on right now. You have to be lying to protect your kid. 
ugly fool would never lie about this! You have to believe her! Okay, let's go over how the victim died one last time. We've discussed this already. Ashford died because he was poisoned by Jayfeather. He confessed. He didn't drown. Nor did he die by the claw scratch on his throat. The claw scratch wasn't deep enough to do any real damage. He had to be poisoned. The only one who had access to deadly herbs was Jayfeather. He messed up Leafpool's store to confuse her. He found the correct herb and killed Ashfur. I told you all this before. No poisonous herbs left my store after I reorganized. I agree! Leafpool, what herbs were missing from your store after you reorganized? Afterward, I noticed that we were only low on poppy seeds than anything else. The herbs in the store were relatively normal, regardless. Brambleclaw! What in Starkland's name are you doing? You... you regret this! I, I'm telling you- that makes sense, Leafpool. Because I found these near the body. Luckily, it wasn't in a place that could have gotten washed away by the tide. But close enough to Ashford's body to warrant suspicion. That's... you're... you're right! When helping in a crisis, I take the task of handing out those. Those are poppy seeds! So, Leafpool wasn't lying? How can you tell? No dangerous herbs left her store. If it was only poppy seeds, then that explains what Jayfeather did. Stop. Stop. It, it was me, Brambleclaw. You, you know it has to be. How can you kill a cat with just poppy seeds? You can't. At most, you can just incapacitate them. How do you know that, Cinderheart? When I spoke to Ashfur, he did seem a little tired and out of it. Jayfeather, you weren't trying to kill Ashfur. You were just trying to buy you and your siblings some time. What do you mean? Ashfur was trying so hard to make sure he went to this gathering. He wanted to expose the secret Squirrelflight tried so hard to keep. Jayfeather knew it wouldn't be right to kill him. That's against who he is as a medicine cat. Sure, he's grumpy if you get on his bad side. But you can tell in the actions he takes, he cares for this clan. Time is running short, so he found a middle route. Overdose Ashfur on poppy seeds to make him too tired to go to the gathering, or make him believe he was sick. It would only weaken Ashfur. This way, he could buy everyone some time. By putting poppy seeds into his fresh kill, it fit on how he was woozy when Brackenfur last saw him, and tired when speaking to Hollyleaf. He would have given us an extra moon to think about what to do next. on who actually murdered Ashfur? Stop, you're all making a mistake. I did it. I killed Ashfur. You didn't, Jayfeather. You're only protecting the one who did. 
If it's not Jayfeather, I'll leave. I've already them. established that both drowning and the claw scratch couldn't have been the causes of death. It had to be poison. It had to have been me. Then we're out of ideas? Out of evidence? Did... did the murderer really get away with killing Ashfur? And our warrior ancestors will forever break contact with the clans. Is this hopeless? Was this hopeless from the beginning? We're lost, aren't we?